Hey guys, I wanted to show you this laying worker nuke that I got corrected. Um, it's not something I have to deal with a whole lot. Typically, I shake them out and just go on about my business. Um, it just so happened that this particular time that I found this one, I was feeling a little bit experimental and I decided to give them a 48 hour sale. Um, my markings show that I made this nuke on the end of April. I uh, checked back. I got a question, I got an X and then a question mark because I had found eggs at that point. Um, not sealed brood. I did not find a queen. So I was curious uh, as to what was going on there. wasn't sure. So then I gave it a frame of brood checked back and on oh I can't read the date uh, anyway I found that it was indeed a laying worker you could tell from the sealed grazed drone brood that was in the worker comb area uh, then I checked back on 521 and I found that it uh, had become queen right and I wrote watch I had found the queen and I marked her, but she did not have sealed brood yet. So today, we're going to check back and make sure what's going on here. Now mind you, this is a very light, small newt. There's not a lot of population in here because uh, they've been through some cycles uh, and they've not had any brood in here for a while. So it was pretty much a failure um, for a long time. <clears throat> so you see the telltale raised up drone broods that is in the Inside the worker combs this is not grown comb this is worker comb where they have laid and I had the problem so now there's larvae in there uh, now you can see a worker pattern you have some misses here plugged back in from uh, where there was a laying worker in here but it's starting to clean up starting to clear up so it can be a little confusing when you get these when you're getting these back correct and what you're seeing but I'm pretty confident that they're on the right track now see this is this is drone cone here the larger cell size you can see how it contrasts with the smaller worker cell size so but it's a little dark and you can't see there's lots of young young larvae in the worker call you know i just tossed that out and i didn't make sure there was a queen on there and that's not a good habit Oh, there she is. Okay. So there's our queen. I marked her. She's laying where she can. She doesn't have a big population to work with, but these will come back around. So it was a success story, guys. Uh, so that's one way. Uh, maybe I'll try it again on down the line. Had laying worker workers. I did not shake it out. I simply pushed a 48-hour cell in with their larvae that they had started. Uh, you can still see the remnants of their where they trashed up my comb. But now we're beginning to get some worker brood in here. 
Like I said, it's confusing when you're looking at this. If you pulled it out and you didn't know the history of this little colony, you would think that this queen was garbage. Um, that there was some really bad stuff going on here. But it's the opposite. It uh, was some really bad stuff going on here, and now it's, it's all again. So, this little colony is going to have a lot of catching up to do. But that was a successful way to correct the problem. Um, oftentimes when you put cap cells in or queens, they're rejected. So playing off the, the bee's instinct to care for larvae, you place the 48-hour cell uh, in with the larvae. And uh, in this case, they accepted it and nurtured it and finished the cell out and went on to have uh, a laying rated queen. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, got a little bit out of it. Maybe you'll give it a try when you have that problem, and I'll catch you around.